Hey guys, um, it's me again. Um, let's see. I've been off for a while. Those of you that follow me, um, that watch my videos know for a fact that, uh, I've been away for quite a while. Um, I just wanted to make this, uh, video just to kind of explain as to, you know, what has been going on. I know for my true friends, they know exactly what I mean. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been reaching out to you guys, haven't been talking to you guys, haven't been calling you guys. Um, my life has just been interesting for the last past 15 months, hence uh, the pause on, I guess, like my videos. Uh, for sure, um, I've dealt with within the 15 months. It's just like kind of like a tie you know, one thing ties to the other, to the other, to the other. I feel like I'm just drained, like super, super drained from what has been happening to me. Uh, let's see. Uh, I dealt with divorce within the last 15 months. Not me specifically, but, you know, um, somebody dear and near to me. Um, let's see. Bankruptcy have come up. Uh, foreclosure came up within the 15 months. I know I'm not alone in this world um, dealing with problems. I know there are people probably in worse position than I am. But I just wanted to make this video for my fans so that they know, you know, I'm coming back. I will be back. Um, I'll make a video. <laughs> uh, I've seen the requests coming in, like, you know, makeup tutorials and stuff like that. Um, or just something to indicate that I'm okay. Uh, let's see. Um, the one that gets me super emotional is within the last past 15 months, uh, my 24-year-old sister, uh, we actually found out that she has a brain aneurysm. Um, now she's good. Now I can actually talk without breaking down. I still get super emotional. I don't know if you can sense it in my voice. But, um, yeah, so I've been coping with that. I've been dealing with that. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, from the foreclosure, people moving into uh, my house with me. Um, having to share space. Um, oh, yeah, my relationship has been tested. Uh, who hasn't or who isn't going through, um, you know, when you're with someone, two different people, no, no two people are alike. Of course, you're going to have, like, you know, disputes or whatever. But just the fact that um, I guess, you know, we've been living in tight quarters. So it's just been hard. It's been tough. Um yeah, so that's what I've been going through. I just want you guys to know I'm okay. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the well wishes. Thank you for your concerns, especially my best friends. Um, I thank you guys for being part of my life. I know you guys understand as to why I haven't been on the phone. I don't like to, you know, call people and vent because I understand that everyone has their own problems. So I know I keep reminding my friends because they're like, you know, we don't want you to be in this situation alone. Um, they reach out to me. They want to talk to me. They want to call me. But, um... Yeah, I'm just that type of a person. Like, you know, I keep to myself. I try to deal with the problems on my own. And, um, you know, so that's that's where I've been. Uh, just to close this kind of, it just seems like, you know, every time. I know there are other people in this world that are going through similar things that I'm going through. But it just seems like once you're trying to get yourself on track... Once you're trying to self, like, boom, you're hit with something. And then you're trying to focus on that. You're trying to, um, you know, forgo everything else. Because I'm that type of a way. Like, I just focus on that main thing till it gets, you know, resolved. And so the funny thing is, is just maybe other people can relate to this. It's just once you get in that deep, dark hole and you try to pull yourself out or you try to figure out where life is going next somehow somewhere somebody comes along that wants to even make it worse for you and the sad part is they don't even know what's going on in your life I'm the type of person when you know when you see me out in public 
when you see me out at work, you see me out hanging out with friends, only my true close friends would know that I'm going through something because over the years they've learned, you know, they've learned me. They know my reaction to things. They know how I react to things or how I am when I'm going through stuff. But it's just so sad that there are people in this world that just feed off of drama. Like, why? I don't get it. I don't understand it. Like, just live your life. Live your life. Enjoy your life every day. Wake up every day. Thank God every day that you're awake to see another day. Because there are other people in this world that could, didn't, didn't wake up to see this great day. I know, you know, outside it doesn't look so great. <laughs> I'm waiting for the sun to come out, you know, but it's just, it's so sad. So if you're one of those people that are like in my shoes and you know exactly what I'm talking about, like you'll come to work, you know, you'll come hang out, but there's somebody lurking. Somebody is lurking there that's like just, they're just negative energy infested. You know, they want to bring you down somehow. Oh, God forbid you're smiling, you know, even though my life is hard and, you know, I'm going through all this stuff. Like, nobody knew my sister had an aneurysm but my close friends. And, you know, I come, you know, I come in, uh, I'm at work, I'm smiling all the time. You know, they tell me my smile's infectious. Like, nobody would ever know until I tell you myself that, you know, I'm going through these things. And then you'll understand. But it's just, it's just mind-boggling. It's baffling to me how there are people in this world that just want to bring you down. Like, what do you get from that? What do you absolutely gain from that um I saw something on Instagram that kind of like you know put me in like a positive happy place um it said um what was it specifically oh it says um I have haters simply because <laughs> simply because um simply because they don't understand why there are tons of people loving me. It, it, it's ridiculous. So, you know, if just for everybody that's out there that's going through the same thing, like, you can never make somebody happy. You can never, like, you know, find out as to why this person truly hates you. I just want to say to you, you have a hater because tons of other people love who you are. They love your personality. They love what you're about, what you stand for. Don't don't thrive on that energy. Just keep on living. Keep on living life and keep on proving to that freaking hater that there's nothing you can do that can bring me down. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But anyway, so look out for my next video. Um, I don't know. I'm going to surprise you guys. Either it's going to be a haul or it's going to be a makeup tutorial. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, so with peace and love, um, just keep looking out for me. And thank you all, you guys, for all the well wishes, all the prayers. Um, that gets me emotional. I don't know if you can hear the crack in my voice. But, um, yeah, so keep watching. Um, share, vote, um, and, you know, pass the word around. This is where I've been. Well, I'm coming out of hiding. And, yeah, love you guys. Bye.